I've been waiting for this day for so long. You know what's here? Yeah, I do. I'm so emotional. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Box cutter. This is gonna be probably the best unboxing video you've ever seen. No, it's not. Oh my god, I see him! <laughs> ah, it's so cute! This bubble wrap, isolating. My new scarf. Do you like it? Okay. Oh my god, I'm so excited! I got Henry! Wait. I don't know if you've seen Henry on the internet. But as soon as I saw him, I was I was like, I know I'm gonna get it. So let's just let, let let's just skip all the formalities and let's just get it right now. So I was looking for a vacuum cleaner. I was looking for a portable vacuum cleaner. It's still weird because that's not what I was looking for. Okay, I was actually looking for a desk vacuum cleaner because well, it's annoying to get things out of like dirt and and lint from the keyboard and around the desk area, especially when I'm drawing and like I, I, I have a lot of pencil shavings and a lot of eraser shavings, <laughs> dust and all these things. And I wanted a, a USB vacuum cleaner actually. And then when I was looking for it, I found Henry and I was like, how could this thing exist? Like, how could somebody come up with this? I know it's just a, uh, Okay, it looks super simple, but it doesn't matter because it has eyes. I'll show you closer. <laughs> I can't. Isn't it the most adorable thing ever? Henry's top tips to a cleaner environment. <laughs> I'd like to see your tips, Henry, tell me. <laughs> there is something written here. Please note, all attachments are housed inside Henry. Henry, are you okay? Oh my god, look at this! I didn't even realize. How can I ever even unbox this? The packaging is so adorable. <laughs> you are so cute. I think I'm gonna intentionally produce some garbage. Like, light garbage. Just so I can use Henry around. I'm so excited. Okay, now let's make Henry get some food and fill up his tiny stomach that's not an actual living being that is so weird i'm just gonna stop actually first let me take a picture to send my mom shiny <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it looks like something from a dollhouse Let's give him some energy. <laughs> Got it? prepare my week beforehand so I already know kind of what to do like this is the little planner that I made this is last week and I also have some things on the back so for this week I'm gonna try embroidering my sweater for the first time I also want to edit a stop motion that I filmed last week about my zine I have a photo shoot of my products that are going up to my shop that I have to edit and take the pictures you first take the pictures and then you add it, if not. And of course, I always wanna paint something with markers because it's been such a long time. I'm like this crazy person who has so many mediums to work with and then I keep jumping from one to the other. <laughs> and then I just like, it's I'm constantly in a situation of missing an art supply. Like I just painted with Copics, now I'm missing watercolors. Then I tried something with gouache, now I'm missing Copic paintings. It's like this huge mess that I love. 
And if it's this mask that makes you draw more and paint more, like that's a beautiful mask to have. I would like that mask. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how that goes. It's nice to tell you what I want to do with my week because then if I don't do it, you can hold it against me, I guess. Anyways, let's get started. Let's go. My hair is always a mess. I already gave up like curly hair. If you have curly hair and a lot of hair, please tell me how you deal with it because like, I don't know. Still trying. <laughs> sketch something to embroider on my sweater and I've never done that so I don't know if it's gonna work but let's try it
It's so much harder to be a girl YouTuber. There's like hair, outfit, makeup. There's a lot of things to take care of. I am very excited this week. I decided to launch my newsletter. And actually I haven't launched it. I'm preparing everything to launch it because I wanted to offer my ebook. Actually it's a zine that I wrote last year and I was really happy about it. So I wanted to launch my zine. Actually, let me go get it for you. <laughs> let me show you my favorite spread. So I wrote this zine last year because it was one of my artsy goals to write a zine. I think it's too long, like it's 50 pages. So I think it's too long for me to try to sell it because it's going to be like too expensive to, to prepare it in bulk. So I decided to just give it away for free. And I wanted to give it away actually um, as an entry to my newsletter because I'm so excited to be making this newsletter now, I think weekly or bi-weekly. <sighs> and uh, I wanted to give you something nice like in the beginning of the newsletter. I have no idea how to use words today. Beginning of newsletter, what the hell is that? So for the zine, I actually wanted to make a little post about it on my Instagram. So I created my first stop motion, like what? Yeah, I was never really a stop motion person. I never really liked them to be very, very honest. <laughs> um, I don't know why, they just don't appeal to me. I find them very weird. It, it, I'm sorry. I know it takes a lot of work and now I know even more that it takes a lot of work. But anyways, I just I, I wanted to try my own because I don't know, it seems like people have a lot of fun with them and it's true, it was fun. <laughs> this week I was having so many breakthroughs with the content that I was consuming through social media social media. Um like through content I was consuming, like uh, podcasts that I was listening to and videos on like the business mindset, I guess. And I have so much stuff to share that I just want to make this newsletter like to share it with you guys because it's like so interesting and I, I, I love getting content in, in like like one big piece of email that I have like tons of links and then I can click and save for later and then digest it throughout my week and then I would love to give it away for you as well and I find a lot of things throughout my week and anyways I just wanted to share stuff apart from that I was thinking and watching videos on how like we artists are always so scared to offer things and it's just like weird how so many people feel it and we we just don't talk about it or we just don't feel it properly and then we just like feel bad for not, like not making money as an artist or not knowing how to go about it for example the biggest one is like how we were always scared to make offers and 
to promote ourselves and to like ask for things or just like to put the world out there for our own products we often think people are gonna look down on us or that the work should speak for itself like we're just gonna make good work and put it there and then people are gonna see it and be amazed and and i don't know buy it or share it we tend to think that if it's good it's gonna sell itself and then if it doesn't sell itself it's because it's not good and it just doesn't make any sense because it's like we were all so scared and taking things so personally like i'm not good enough or my art is not on the right level i i was thinking today that it's kind of the same thing we feel like when we apply to jobs it's kind of the same scenario like you're offering your services to somebody or to a company we send away our cvs and our portfolios then if we get a no or if we don't hear back from them for especially if it's the first few times we do it it's like it feels so bad it feels like like you're being rejected or that you're not good enough and and uh, it just feels like the end of the world <laughs> when i was looking for an art job i was feeling so weird because i had all these logical thoughts to back it up like finding reasons that would not be accepted for example i knew that my work could not be a fit for the company for example my style or the things that i'm good at or two maybe they just don't have a budget to hire new people right now or three it's just not good timing because i don't know maybe they just hired somebody else even like maybe it's another area but still they already hired somebody else they're already like training somebody so maybe it's not a good time for you to come in or maybe it's not good timing overall like maybe they're they have something going on right now like they have an event or an exhibition that's taking a lot of their time and efforts and they don't really have the means to look at your things and consider everything or maybe the boss is struggling somewhere you know these things are really simple or simply like they don't like my work which is completely normal and it happens all the time to us like we look at things every day that we're like nah uh, not for me like this i don't like this or i'm not gonna follow this person and it's completely normal but when it's our time to be like rejected or to be one of those people who somebody else doesn't love it it's so hard to accept and it sounds a bit like pathetic to think that even though i had all this logical reasonings i still fell for the emotional paths because well we are humans and we have emotions right we're not 100% logical beings so and i literally cried for those emotional parts having all those other logical reasons to back me up it's crazy so it's really when we're on the other side on the company business side of the things that we get the other perspective that it could be just bad timing and not really your worth attached to it but i guess it's very understandable because before that perspective you're just like on your own world so you don't really understand how it works and then all you can think of is yourself that's why the beginnings are so tough because you only have your own point of view but i guess all we can do is keep studying keep learning keep evolving and try again right yeah i want to tattoo that on my face
after a way. Oh man, I wish I could have said that in the last episode, but I just, I couldn't, you know, I I didn't have the, the this wonderful energy, but it, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, I don't know the other names of the villagers, but um, I've, I've seen so many people that have to go out. People that have kids, people like especially young kids who, ha who have to go out because otherwise either they're too active or um, they're just like, um, I don't know, going insane by being inside for too long. Uh, people who own, like who have pets, uh, especially dogs who need to be walked um people that i don't know they're uh doing some kind of sport and they have to keep this uh i don't know like physical uh, physical you know what is the name of that you guys when you have like a physical like a good shape they have to keep having a good shape or um any person who has to do keep working like people at the post office uh, actually take from your schedule every single week and that was something that put me uh nervous <laughs> so i'm like yeah maybe i don't know i don't know if i want to do it and this thing happened you know the pandemic so i'm like okay this is now is the time for me to do this book because just realized I haven't said bye so I'm filming this just to say bye I guess with my new embroidered sweater self promo <laughs> so I guess I'll see you on the next video probably next week because I'm trying to make weekly vlogs or weekly videos now and I'll see you on the next video bye <laughs> with the lop hand I'm not locked handed feels weird bye <laughs>